Hello and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2012 tournament. Uh, now last week we had Killian was our wither, so as you can see he advances through to the next round. Uh, today we have the Heretic versus Haven, uh, so it's been an interesting match. So I had a little problem with the next recording, uh, the audio failed, so me and Retro have uh, recorded our commentary over the top. Uh, for some reason the frame rate was out for when we were re-recording it so it didn't match up so if there's little jump cuts and uh, little empty slots I apologise for that uh, but I got the audio to match up so it all made sense so uh, apologies for that but I uh, hope you guys can still enjoy I have Retro Stylist helping me to announce today uh, so we'll jump into the match and we'll see what happens Round 1 Fight! So, game begins, throw it rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. And. And. Dun dun dun! Nope, still nothing. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, both got scissors. Both got scissors again. And paper. This was the stalemate. Yes, I do remember the stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, so it looks like the heretic's going to go first. Yep. Uh, followed by Haven. Let's see what they're going to do. I, I, I got a good bet he's going to lay a card face down. I reckon he'll lay a card. Oh, yep. oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty sure of that. He did lay a card face down. Yeah, I get the feeling of deja vu. <laughs> yeah. So they always lay a card face down. When it's your first turn, you lay a card face down. So, uh, not always. No, yeah, I think pretty much everyone does. It's usually a spell, a trap card, or a monster, one of the two. Yeah, it depends. There we go. So, uh, the Heretic has laid uh, one dragon face up, standard attack, no special effects, and Haven has laid two cards face down. Ooh. 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 Ah, they both have two cards. Again, face down. Everyone yep. starts off with face down cards, and then, then slowly towards the end, it just, it's all face up. They don't care anymore, you know? <laughs> it's because there's still mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery. Very right, calm, Scooby Doo. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to get sued for that, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll cut it out. What's well, fine, we'll cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure mentioning me will be okay. Oh, and uh, Heretic has just summoned the blue eyes. And via. OP. Yeah, and via sacrificing the um, white, white stone, stone, it gives him another one to his hand. So he now has. A blue eyes in his hand, a blue eyes on his field. If he gets another one, he can summon the ultimate dragon. He could. The blue eyes ultimate dragon. He needs a polarization as well. True. And he attacks his face down card. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? It's uh -oh. just a normal boring monster. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do anything special. Nope. It's not magical. No. Nah. Now ha Haven has the larger deck. He's uh, got more cards. He's using the full. Yeah, he's the first player to use the full sixty deck. Whereas Heretic is going for the normal forty deck, if I remember. Yep, he's going for the minimum deck, which a lot of people have gone for so far in the tournament. And no one's using a lots of fusions. Yeah, haven't. Yeah, there hasn't been many fusions out yet. Although these, got, oh yeah, they've only got. Yeah, two and four, so neither of them has a huge amount of fusions. So, given the fact that Heretic's using the dragon deck, I can guess some of the fusions. And there's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is really powerful. And there's also uh, Five Headed Dragon, which is insanely powerful. So, uh -huh. they're good fusions, but they take a lot to get out. Yeah, well, Haven's just activated his trap, which stops him from attacking that turn, so that oh. saved his ass. And he's just activated D boys, which lets him summon two more, but he takes but, damage for yeah, that. Two thousand life points. Nah, quite a lot. To, what's he gonna do though? And he's sacrificing oh. them all for Oh his... dear god, he summoned Obelisk. Already. Isn't it and he's like th I it's think it's his fourth turn. It's turn eight. Oh it's turn eight, so it's his fourth turn. So yep. four Yikes. turns he's summoned Obelisk. That's a good one. <laughs> Yikes. That's a beast of a card. Now, Obelisk, for those people who don't know, it can't be affected by spell or trap cards that target him directly. However, he is affected by field spell and trap cards that affect the field. So, get rid of that bugger. Yep. 
And funnily enough, uh, Fisher will also destroy him because that affects the field and it's the only face up monster on the field. So, unless it, he's got a low monster, it wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> because this is his only face up one, that, that would destroy it at the moment. Now the, question, now, the thing is, since he's got Obelisk, he might have the other two, he might have the other god cards. He might have Slifer and Ra. Yeah, he may do. Yeah, and he might have the ultimate god, which, if he can, which means. Which basically, if he's got Slifer, Obelisk, and Ra in the field, he can get rid of them all to summon the ultimate god. And if you summon that, you've won the game. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, so... So it'll be interesting to see if he tries to go for that. Oh, oh Jinzo. Jinzo, which now negates all spell and trap cards. Well, no, all trap cards. It's just all trap cards. Yep. So, uh... So now his so he was waiting. Yeah, that's why he didn't attack his last go. He was w waiting to play it safe. Yep. Uh, didn't want him activating any traps on him. So basically, the only thing that can destroy him now is uh, is a magic card. I feel like Dark Hole would be a good good card to get right now. Yeah, Dark Hole's what he needs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's I... pretty much the only thing that can save him. Well, uh, yeah. Well, he has got blue eyes in his hand, so if he uh, manages to lay another blue eyes, he could destroy his Jinzo. Yeah, but he'll still take damage. Yeah, because his obelisk is then going to immediately destroy. <laughs> yeah. Destroy his blue eyes. Tricky situation. Yeah. I think the only th the only th real oh what's this? Ooh, ah. Special summon. Strong enough to get rid of Jinzo. Yeah. Uh, so not with the blue eyes, but he's. Uh... He's managed to get rid of the Jinzo, so now he can use uh, field trap cards on his obelisk. If he has any. It's Still. interesting, though, we haven't seen what this uh, face down magical trap card is from uh, Haven yet. It's been there since the beginning of the game. Yep. But is that what I only need it? <laughs> yeah, with obelisk. Yeah. Hmm. And there's another card face down. Ooh. The only thing that will save Heretic now is if he can get the five headed dragon out. Uh, yes, because that has, uh, what was it, 5,000 5, attack? 5,000 attack and defense. Yeah. That, <laughs> that would do it. Well, he's got enough cards in his hand and the dragon on the field. He needs, <laughs> every card in his hand, he would have to have four dragons in his hand and a poly. <laughs> it's doubtful, but it's what he needs. Yeah. You never know, he might have laid a poly face down as a, a trick to yeah. pretend he's got more traps. So he might block. already have a poly, yeah. I do that a lot. Usually when I have like two polys in my hand, I'll lay one face down just to pretend it's a trap. Actually, it might be, actually it's, might be decent to use Super Poly as a face down card because it's a quick play. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you also run the risk of it getting destroyed though if you lay it because it's on the field yeah, right, by but, an effect of a card. Uh, but still, risk oh. versus reward. Oh, There we thing? go, there's a trap. Banish one dragon type monster and special summon one from the hand or graveyard. Which Ooh, means you, which I means wonder, you can... wonder what that could be. Yeah, I wonder. Uh. <laughs> That's going to be a blue eyes. No, he's definitely going to get that stone of legend. <laughs> <laughs> the really weak card. <laughs> he did. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he wants to get a, a third blue eyes. He's, he's got yeah. two. There's one in his graveyard and there's one in his hand, so... Perhaps, but that's risky. Any monster can destroy that. Yeah. Oh, oh playing like it safe, he it. like he needs it. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I suppose if I suppose if there's mirror force down there, and obelisk attacks, mm, that would even the battlefield. It would. I guess it's just a safety net. Yeah. Just in case heretics somehow manages to destroy obelisk. Surprised Obelisk isn't attacking though. Yeah, I think he's worried about those uh, face drown spell and trap cards. Doesn't yeah. want to risk it. But then, see, the way I see it is if it is a face down trap spell or trap card, then uh, it's just going to destroy more of his cards when they are used. So I would have just. I, suppose, I, suppose, I guess what I might want to do is change Obelisk to defense mode and then attack some his White Stone Legend with something. Because then, if he does have Mirror Force, it won't affect Obelisk. Yeah. Yeah, because pretty much anything can attack his White Stone, so... Yeah, that yeah. would be a good plan. Because it doesn't need much attack. Yeah. Like, even a Man-Ear Bug would take 
Even a Maniac Bug would take that thing. Yeah, look, he's, he's definitely worried about those spell and trap cards. Oh, Final Countdown. Final Countdown. It's the Final like Countdown. Yeah, it was a buff. Well, if he had used that, it would be down to 300 life points. So he would have... Indeed. Yeah. But basically, he knew he couldn't play, really use that, so he thought I might as well put it on the field. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's attacking. He is. Giving him another blue eyes, so that must be all of his blue eyes out of the deck. Yep. And into his hand. Well, he's got two in his hand and one in the grave. Hmm. Oh, he's got a lot of cards in his hand. How many has he got now? He's got seven, yeah. so he has to lay something. Or throw it away. Yeah. So if he has a, a magic card of some sort, he would be silly to... Uh, to not lay one of those, but he's laid a monster, so... <laughs> he's just trying to get some protection on his dragons. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but... He can just attack that with uh, yeah, the obelisk. Gonna be... Is he going to risk it? Because he could have just attack it with a obelisk now and uh, take Kill his it. take his life points completely. Murder He'd him. Be dead. Yeah. Is he going to risk it? Does he think there's a nasty trap card though there? Well, there can't. The there won't one. be because if there was, he would have activated it when obelisk attacked the white stone legend. I guess. Yeah. Uh, he's attacking his face. He's giving him a chance here. Yep. What would this be a downfall? Yeah. Mercy kills in this game, so you gotta be careful. N another seven cards in the Heretic. Heretic's hand. Ah, destroying the face down card. Hmm. It was a weak one. Ooh, oh, ooh. that's so, why he wanted to load a D. Special summoning. Comes his two blue eyes. Yep. There's one. Oh, he's used. Oh, he hasn't used. Oh, they are different blue eyes. They just yeah. look different. Exactly the same card, just different pictures on them. Yeah. Fancy. But still, can't do much against his obelisk. Can't do anything with this one. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. he's doing... Oh. Now that's interesting. Oh dear. Oh, but... Ouch. He's cancelled the summon. <sighs> you can just... Hey, half that. your life points to the gate, a Normal summon infliction or any summon of any type basically that negates, but paying or a trap spell card. Yeah, paying half of his life points. Ouch! Yeah. It's he a lot really... to pay. Yeah. You think about it though. If you're if you're just about to die, it's not a lot of life points because say you got three hundred left. It takes one hundred and fifty. You're still pretty close to death. But, but when you when when you're that stuff. much in the lead, yeah, it takes a lot of life points. That's just even the playing field. If Obelisk dies, that's that's going to be the end yeah. of the world as we know it. And the heretic should have put his, yep, yeah, there we go, should have put his order D in defense position. Dead. Round one to Haven. Round two, fight! So we're on to round two. And heretic is once again going first. And again, face down cards in the first turn. Yep. I don't okay. think I've ever seen a first turn where there's not been a card laid face down. You always lay at least one spell and one monster. Well... Depends. Monsters not always face down, but the spell you always lay a spell or trap card face down. Well, pretend really. it's pretend I mean, it's a trap, at least. Yeah, I, I mean, do I've, anyway. I've done, I've played a few. I know that if I get certain cards in my hand on my first turn, I won't play a face down card. So like with my ancient gear deck, you know, I've got if say if I've got a field card, some equip cards, and a monster, I'll just go full out. Ah, oh, sacrificing his uh, white stone of legend to get a yeah. blue card. So, uh, and now he's just going to attack. Ooh. Uh, 2000 attack. Doesn't have any flip effect. Yep. Just is Cyber Dragon. Yeah. Only good for fusions. So, obviously, he didn't want to use his face down spell or trap card. Savoring it. He did savor that card because that, that last round, because that card was face. No, that wasn't. It was on the. Was that his first face down card? No, it wasn't. It was on the right, wasn't it? So it wasn't he but he did save it he could have used that yeah. earlier I'm sure. So he or saved that for the right bluff. moment. Or possibly a bluff. Yeah. You never know. And he's attacking straightforward. Ooh, Haven down to six hundred. Good to start for the heretic this round. Ah here we have it. Now this card is gonna be killer. Because it gets 600 attack and defense for every card in Haven's hand. Ouch. Yep. And it's already got a lot more. Ooh, block attack. That'll switch it to defense position, which means it won't be attacking. Oh, but this one. 
Ooh, ouch. He's, he's trying to draw cards. Trying yeah. to get thing. Trying to get his, uh... Or increasing the attack and defense of that card. Yeah. But he did pay life points for that. See, that magic card, it doesn't stop him from attacking, though. He can still put his monster into attack position there. It's good for when you've got a monster with uh, a high attack and they have a low defense. It puts it into yeah. defense mode so you can attack and destroy it. That thing's got the same attack and defense. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got the maximum attack and defense right now. 3,600. Yeah. Well, in fact, it can have more because you could have more yeah. cards in your hand, but then you'd have to lay cards or yeah. discard them the by the end of the turn. The maximum permanent. Yeah. Oh, white hole. Interesting, but not that good unless your opponent's using black hole. Oh, yeah. Dark. Most people tend to have dark hole because it's in TCG or uh, OCG rules. So, so yeah, white hole is good because it means that if your opponent decides to use black dark hole and destroy all your monsters, nope. Well, it's sources. Yeah. Which basically means he shot himself in the foot. Ah. Uh, now we're gonna see what this face down is a is it a trap or is it a bluff? We shall have to see. <laughs> Text him directly. Is it yep. a bluff? Uh, oh, bees on the safe side. Uh, Activates yep. another. And it was a bluff. Yeah, yeah, it destroys the face down card. So uh... no, it destroys a defense mode card. Is it defense well, mode? I thought it was face down defense mode. Uh, I. I'm not sure. Ah. Doesn't matter. It's gone. <laughs> it wasn't going to work on his... Uh... Well, if he just, if he had that when he used block attack, then it would have been alright. Yeah, using up quite a lot of the cards in his hand, though, now he's uh, down yeah. to only 1,800. That means it can't be destroyed. Another one not, can't really lay, get, get any monster out of the heretic this right. round. He's, well, since he's in a dragon deck, I assume that he's got super high level monsters in his hand, but he can't summon them. Yeah. Oh. Luckily, he didn't have too large a attack. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the lowest amount he's attacked with, so he got lucky there. Yeah. So many battles have been uh, won with uh, so many cylinders. Yeah, a lot of mine. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm going to finish you off. No, it's going to finish you off instead. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, field card. Increases the attack of dragons, winged beasts, and thunders. I'm not surprised at that. Hence, yeah. it has a dragon deck. <laughs> Shock horror. Yeah. What's going to happen now? Let's see, if he had a card that could allow him to draw more cards right now, he could uh, finish him off. Oh, he just Ooh. must reborn. Wants to reborn. Oh, he's being mean and taking one of Heretic's dragon types to get the boost from the field effect. <laughs> and now he has exactly 4,000 attack between those two monsters. Yep. So he's unless he can negate the attacks. Oh. Can he? Nope. Don't it's think he can. He's dead. And that is game over. Heretic's out game of the over. tournament. Heretic's out and Haven's through to the next round. Flawless victory.